Hi guys, so here I have the new model of the Nest learning thermostat, so uh, third generation and I also have an electric heater over here and the problem is that the Nest is not made to control these things to turn them off and on so it only can handle up to 3 amps of uh, current but uh, that huge uh, radiator is about 10 I was looking at various options and I have uh, bought a relay and I have connected it up over here. This is the heat link of the relay. So let me just walk you through the diagram of uh, how we connect it. So first off, let's have a look at how a relay works. Uh, in a classic uh, circuit, you would have the electricity coming from the life having a switch here on or off and then electricity continues through the light so light is on and then it goes out so when this switch closes the light goes on when it's open the light is not on the way the relay works is it's a powered switch so you'd have two circuits so one is the one with your light I just showed you and there's another one where when we give electricity on both the, the L and the N, so the plus and the minus, when this circuit here closes, it triggers the switch to close and make the other circuit close. So these are two separate circuits. One circuit is usually lower in power, like in our case with the Nest is only uh, 3 amps, this circuit here, and the other one is 10. So I bought this relay from uh, my local sh electrical shop. Let me just show it to you. So that's how it looks. And let me see if I still have the... If I still have the paper that came with it. It should be somewhere here. So that's it there. So that's the one that they just gave me. So you could use the same if you like, or you could use another one, the principle is the same. Um, you need to figure out the diagram on the actual relay. So it will show you which one is uh, your coil. So again, if we come back, the coil is the low amp one, and which one is the main one. So you just need to figure out that from your diagram on the actual relay. And the way we have hooked up the nest in our case, is uh, as, as it's shown here so we have the heat link there so that's the part that comes to the nest so uh, the difference uh, here is that you don't connect your cables to the actual nest you connect them to the heat link which is that white plate over there so the electricity would come from the L and then it would he it would power the would go into the heat link but we have also made a bridge to number two so we put another cable into number two and when the nest closes the circuit the electricity continues on to number three so only when the circuit is closed so only when the heating should be on and it goes to number three and then uh, for number three we go into the relay so that's our relay there. And we have uh, the neutral uh, is the other cable that goes into both the, the heat link and the relay. So those cables are connected, both of them. So as soon as we close this circuit here, so as soon as the nest closes its circuit, Again, we do exactly the same thing that we do here, so that's our coil. So as soon as the nest closes the circuit, we close the other circuit, which is the radiator one. So the radiator one comes from, again, from plus, goes down to the relay. And then if it's open, it doesn't continue if it's closed, it goes into the radiator and goes back out. So the way I have hooked this up, 
is with an extension cable. So this extension cable here is where I will be plugging my radiator, but at the moment it's just a light. And this is the heat, um, the heat link, so let me show you how it looks. So again, we have two on the N and two on the L. From the N, this is going to the relay. So that's your cable over here. It's going to the relay. And from number three is the brown cable that's also going to the relay. So that's our the coil connection. So that is when it's on, when the nest is on. It comes into the relay and forces it to close the, the big circuit. So the big circuit, as you can see, we have two separate plugs. The black one goes into the heatsink. And from the heatsink, it goes into the relay. And the other plug is our powerful one. So that's the 10 amp. So you can see it's a bigger cable. And the brown cable, as I showed you in the, the schema there, the brown cable goes into one of the plugs of the relay, comes out of the other, and then it continues on its way to there, to the extension cable. So now, as you can see, we're down in temperature, but if we go up, that's the light comes on. And the relay also lighting up. So if we go back down, it's off again. So yeah, that's about it. And we are in the UK. And yeah, it looks like any relay that can handle whatever your load is. Mine is 8 amps and this is 10 amps. I have ordered a bigger one. I'm waiting on a 60 amp one just in case. So I will be adding extra protection on this and I'll obviously be covering all the cables and all that. But yeah, that's, uh, I'm not sure that's how it works.